All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to be installing the V Limited style front lip from Basin Arm Motorsports. So, if you saw my video from a couple weeks ago, I installed the three piece front lip on the WRX. So, I got that one from Amazon. Um, but I figure we switch it up a little bit. And so, I decided to purchase the Basin R. A B limited style front lip uh, from eBay. I've seen based on our motorsports They seem to have a good reputation from the car community or at least from people who buy their products so I decided to give them a shot and um, Install this piece right here. Uh, this is the V limited style. So I know that the regular um, Just basic front lip doesn't have these little kind of spats that go out of the front but I really like the look of this just because it completes the front bumper on the corner so for anyone wondering it does come with hardware and I specifically went with Basin R just because I noticed that they have these brackets and these brackets go on the corners and I believe they plug up straight through the bumper so it kind of gives it that extra support not like all the other bumpers where you just use self tapping screws all around so that's what makes this one kind of unique in my opinion. So this front lip looks promising but it is not perfect. Um, for example, I do see on the front, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but you know, there's a couple scuffs here and there, and uh, all I'm worried about is if it fits nicely on the car. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the unfinished uh, finish, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to get that front lip to match this finish right here, which is kind of flat black. I'm pretty sure I got the right product for it. It is a custom wrap removable coating uh, from Duplicolor. It's supposed to look like I'm assuming the cap. So if you guys can see the light shining on this versus this, it's a little similar. So I'll put a link in the description for this one as well. This is about four coats in and I think I'm gonna try to do a couple more and then call it good all right so good thing I ordered a uh, new paint just because I'm gonna have to redo this front lip it's already messed up um, just because these brackets were a pain to get to or to install so if you see that the edge of the lip was too big for the uh, 90 degree angle of this bracket so I had to shave it down a little for it to go in there but it was pretty easy once I shaved it down so it goes screw washer bracket to the lip and then on the other side you have the locking washer and then the nut so that's how that bracket gets on there all right it's actually the next day the paint was still drying so I decided to wait overnight just to kind of let it settle um, but yeah, like I said, it's the following day and um, I'm gonna go ahead and install this on the car. So I got it on the ramps, jack stands and wheel chucks as you can see. So what we are gonna have to do since it's on ramps is I know that this needs a screw right here. So I plan on getting everything else secured except for these two bolts, uh, one here and on the other side and then um, drop the car and then finally turn the wheels and screw it on. Uh, so the clips it came with were really cheap so I had some laying around. Uh, it's these things right here, the push clips. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna insert these two push clips right here, one and two, put that on the car and then see how it lines up and then adjust it as necessary. But I plan to start from the front and either, depending on how the fitment is, work my way from side to side, or if we wanna go from the middle to the out, outside. So we're just gonna have to see. Overall though, the paint quality isn't bad. Um, I did about six coats, and actually I ended up ordering another can just cause I wanted to touch up a couple spots like on the bottom. It's not perfect as you guys can see, but uh, the top is, it looks decent. Um, it doesn't look, it doesn't have that cheap, unfinished look so yeah overall it's decent it looks good so far uh, like I said there's spots that I need to touch up later on but for now I just want to get it on the car okay so just because of how it's fitting so far I'm gonna go ahead and start from the middle and then work our way out to the sides I'm gonna 
start by putting some very small pilot holes on the bumper. Now that we got the fronts installed, we're gonna go ahead and start with the passenger side. And what I'm worrying about the most is the fitment right here. I wanna make sure that there's no gaps. And also, I wanna make sure that this lines up with, with this right here, with the wheel well. So the bracket that we installed earlier, that's actually gonna set the height of the front lip to the front. So that's where you wanna here, let me see if I can get under here. And no, I did not use the jack stands for the front bumper. I have some under there. I just needed it for the front lip. But if we go under here, you're gonna see this, um, see the crappy quality paint that I use, but the bracket is right here and that's where you're gonna wanna screw it in. Then I wanna make sure that this, that this edge is flush along the wheel well, just like that. All right, so, so far so good. Um, the fitment is actually pretty spot on on this side. I mean, mind, mind you, we still have the other side, but this is uh, pretty good right here. See, it's flush and there's no gaps. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, after we get the other side done, we are gonna drop the car, turn the wheels, and then screw this last piece on. This last piece, or this last screw on right here. Just cause I can't get my drill through this. But so far, so good. y'all so we just finished the install um, don't hate me for this but I was short one screw and so what I ended up doing was I ended up replacing all of the self tapping screws with some nuts and bolts I know it's a lot of work but you know I, I couldn't stand having the mismatched screw <laughs> or mismatched bolt you know so that's why it took a little longer but now it is on there and that is not going anywhere just because they are fully secured by these. Uh, these are just some stainless steel nuts and bolts that you can get from the hardware store. Aside from the extra hole that I had to make um, right in this area, just cause there was still a gap, uh, the fitment is actually surprisingly really good. It always gets difficult with this part right here. It's a little dirty, so just excuse the dirt, but it gets really difficult at this part right here just because of that curvature. Overall, it wraps around the car pretty nicely aside from this spot right here. Right there, if you guys can see that, but that is not a big deal I'd, at all. Like You can't even tell. Uh, so you don't need the nuts and bolts, but it, it, it helps. It doesn't hurt to have them either. The self-tapping screws are thick enough to where they'll stick on there. But like I said, I was missing one, and so I decided to just change them all to nuts and bolts instead of just doing the one screw, which 
I probably should have done, but I just, my brain wouldn't let me. Overall, it's pretty good. It's not bad for 125 bucks. You know, you can't ask for more than that. Didn't end up using the 3M tape just because I could tell that the fitment was gonna be all right. So on the sides right here. And so we got away with not using 3M, but man, it does not look bad at all. I like it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Uh, I will put the front lip in the description below. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.